Hello everyone and welcome to another painting tutorial. Today, in this short video, I will show you how to paint the last two villain figures of the Arcadia Quest board game. We have already covered our figures with black primer, so we will start out first highlights with Sorby Grey. Black primer is very convenient because you don't have to create many shadows and it also hides a lot of imperfections. The second layer of highlights will be done with gold grey. We will use leather brown as a base coat for his pinafore and his hooves and we will create the highlights with desert yellow. This color is really thin, so we will definitely need two or three layers to make it look good. Um, okay, we lost part of this video, but all you need to know is that the horns are painted with bone white and the mohawk with wolf grey. For his arm cuffs we will use burnt red as a base coat. The axe handles will be painted with beastie brown and bronze flesh tone. On all the metallic parts we will use gun metal and on some tips we will use polished gold. And now on with the washes. I used black wash on almost all the figure and on the horns and on every wooden part. With diluted silver we will highlight the metallic parts. Being very careful not to ruin what we have already made. We will highlight the horns using bone white. A small black dot to make the eyes. And finally with dead white we would dry brush the mohawk and the tail. Don't forget to spray the figure with varnish after you're done. And our miniature dude is ready. Time for the Lord Fag. We will begin by painting his cape with bloody red. We will create some dark shadows with scarlet red and then highlight with hot orange which doesn't really show on camera. You know red and color correction are not really best friends. Using dead white we will cover any red spots that might have been left on his face as a side effect after using the airbrush. We will paint his trousers with hex and lichen. Yes, it looks black but it's actually blue. You know again, issues with color correction. On the contrary, his hair looks black and it is black. We will also paint black his eyebrows and his French moustache. Now with a little bit of alien purple and a lot of glaze medium, we will glaze his face. It actually works more or less like a wash. We will use chainmail silver for his sword and crown. We will highlight the face with bone white.
burned red for the crown. We will use glorious gold for the inside parts of the crown. The eyeball will be painted with hot orange. Please don't judge me hard for that. That's the color in the board game. With cold grey we will make his hair look grey, obviously. And voila! Lord Fag is ready. So that's all for today, thank you all for watching and I hope to see you again in the next video. Thanks and bye!